Hey guys, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is where I teach you how to be a queen, a drag queen. So today is all about drag brows. If you guys are new to my channel, I have dabbled in drag and I was a title hoser once upon a time and I just love drag so, so much. And you guys know here on my channel, if you guys haven't seen the series, definitely check it out. I have talked about boobs. I have talked about body. I have talked about hair. I have talked about makeup, but specific, specific to makeup, I want to share with you guys how to get brows down. I have covered my brows in the past, but I feel like I have not perfected it. But in today's video, I want to show you guys how to perfect it from start to finish, but I am not so good at it. So I have phoned in a friend, I have called a lifeline, and today I want to introduce to you my sister from another Mr. T.W. Yes, ma'am! Hey, What's ma'am, how's it going? Girl, oh my gosh. So I love T.W. We go back, uh, way back in Orlando. Too far. Too far, too far. <laughs> we used to do drag, well, you've done drag way before uh -huh. I have. Your drag name is Poison. Mine was Ruby. And we used to work at Mac. Back in the day, too, um, when we would pump in a club, people, oh would, people would think that you were sharing needles and I was jiggly Kelly. <laughs> Literally, when we were walking the club, you'd be going, oh, oh my God, God it's, it's, it's so <laughs> sharing and jiggly. And I'd be like, mm. It's the Orlando bootleg version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I have learned so much from TW, and he does my makeup also for some photo shoots and, and red carpets and stuff. He did my makeup for A Star Is Born. Yes. Loved my makeup for the premiere. And um, yeah, he's gonna teach us how to slay brows because every time he does drag brows, it is so amazing. If you guys wanna see how we kick, flip, and dip in our brow slayage, what do YouTubers say, mama? Uh, welcome. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. Yes, man. <laughs> so if you guys want to see more, stay tuned. Let's just jump right into the video. So the products you will need for your brows to be glued down are alcohol wipes. Elmer's glue stick. Elmer's specifically. Because Elmer. you don't want that oatmeal brow. She told me, because I had the damn, what is this, the scotch. She called this the oatmeal stick, okay? She she read me, okay? You will also need this uh, essential eye tool, specifically with a metal comb, because it's just good. You will need a blow dryer with a cool setting so that you don't burn your face and sweat while you're blow drying in between layers. Mm -hmm. And next you will need airspun with a powder puff. <laughs> you know mama has this in stock. Ancient drag queen secret. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, you're gonna need a full coverage foundation to cover up all the man underneath that brow. I Ooh, like- <laughs> She wanna come that way! Why are you talking about mama? I love Kryolan TV paint stick because it's sweat proof, lip proof, drag proof, Kick, dip, flip, death drop, proof, honey. This is the stick. Cryon TV paint stick, not sponsored. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to glue the brows again. We want this to function properly on stage. So what's the, what's the tape? So first and foremost, we are going to get rid of any of the excess shine and oils that we carry around our brow so that the glue is going to lay flat. Mm -hmm. So you just take an alcohol wipe and just rub it all up underneath the brow. We smells like the doctor. <laughs> so next we are going to, to glue down the brows once the excess oils are gone using the Elmer's glue stick because the other one is the oatmeal stick. Only Elmer's, and you said that there's others like Prozade, uh, the yeah, wax. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can get to the finished effect. This is just my proven method. I know it works, I know it's not gonna come up. Mm -hmm. It depends on your brow, your technique, but mm -hmm. Elmer's glue, you can find it anywhere, it's accessible, mm -hmm. so. It's cheap. We got a pack of eight for like five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> So the first layer is really important and you want to go against the grain because my hair's grow your hair grows out. So you want to go against it so when you lay it flat, the hairs will stick down. Okay. Exactly. So let's go. And the first layer is like super important. Yeah, because it's what's gonna create the base layer for the other layers to sit on top of. So everything has to be completely saturated in this glue so that there are no holes, because we like to fill the holes here. Oh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you did there. So after I brushed it against the grain, now I'm just kind of pressing it in 
with the grain of the brow hair. So after we have the first layer, we are going to take this handy dandy tool. This one is from Urban Decay. Come on, beauty blogger. <laughs> this is by Urban Decay. This was 15 bucks, but the key important part is that it has the metal prongs. They have like a lash comb that you can find on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Those are much less expensive, but we like this because it had all the, the, the little parts to it. So what's next? Just before I do it, I make sure there's enough glue that it's nice and saturated before I go in. This step is probably one of the most essential parts. You are going to comb the hair completely against the skin in an upwards direction, pressing as you go along to make sure that it's flat. Oh, so actually pressing the tool exactly. on my skin too. Not so just this part comb. right here ah. will kind of allow it to fly in as I comb through. Comb through, mama. I've also used um, spoolies too. Mm -hmm. I, I love a spoolie. Spoolie is a great alternative. Most brow products are gonna have the, it on the back of it. You can use that alternatively, but nothing gets it flatter than this. Okay. And you just keep brushing it upwards, pressing it in until your brow looks crazy. If you notice that any of the glue is crumbling during this step, just take that same alcohol wipe or a fresh one and just brush it up into it, and that will help you get rid of any of the clumps that will happen naturally. And again, something else is going to happen throughout with the glue is you're gonna get a little bit of product in there. I'll clean that out during the process. With the alcohol wipe. Mm -hmm. Cute. All right, so this is what it should look like after the first layer, mama. So it looks really flat, really good. You can tell when I turn to the side, there's no hair sticking out. You see how this, you can see the hair is kind of like sticking out. Over here, flat. You want it flat like your ass before pads. And next, blow dry on a cool setting. How do you know when it's done? I mean, you don't feel any tackiness on top. And repeat and keep on doing glue and blow drying until you get about three or four layers. All right, guys, so if you guys can see, there's like a little bit of glue over the brow. Uh, we're just taking in some makeup wipes and just wiping off the excess. And we uh, have four layers of glue on the brow. All right, so next we're taking a little bit of airspin and he put some in the palm of his hand and that way it can get really, um, you know, in the puff. And we're just going to powder these four layers and he also cleaned off the excess glue. Under pressure. <laughs> Don't you be afraid to use as much pressure as possible. Mm, that feels like pressure. Feels good though. Next we're just going to go ahead and dust off the excess and conceal the brow with a Krylon TV paint stick. So this will also work a little bit against the grain, even though the brow is completely covered. Again, you go against the grain too. We're just filling those holes. Oh, that's the lesson of the day. Okay, I'd be so scared to go against the grain because it might pick up the, the thing. Everything's so set and pressed in there. She ain't going nowhere. Oh my god, did you color correct this a little bit? Oh, I, no, you don't need to because there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. Yay. Even though if you can see it, yeah, because we're gonna put. We're gonna put stuff up. Oh. You don't want it to be too thick, actually, because then it, um, because then it'll it will get cr uh, Crush, crum crumbly. Crunchy. But right now we're just prioritizing the function mm -hmm. and making sure it's just laid. Yeah, you don't. If you focus too much on making sure it looks perfect in these, uh, the for lack of a better word, ugly phase, oh. then you're not. You're gonna end up with too much product on the brow. Mm. So this is good. Mm -hmm. Ah. So even though you can see the brow through, <clears throat> what's important is that the function of the flattened texture does not show. Mm, perfect. All right, guys, so the brows are glued down, and we are ready to sketch out the brow. So right here, TW actually uh, sketched out a brow without the glue, so we can use it as a reference point. You can see right here that TW started from the head of the brow, close to where your nose bridge is, and uses that as an anchor point and draws the brow all the way, way up above my natural arch. And then he sketches it in and fills it in. And that's kind of the shape, if you guys are doing drag for the first time, that would work 
best. You don't want to draw your brows too high on your forehead because when you move your face, you want to be able to express uh, and show expression, happy, sad, fierce, and you want to be able to serve face on the runway and serve it when you are performing in drag because your brow would just look stiff. Also another thing is balancing the face. It's all kind of geometry of contouring, highlighting. So right here, as you can see, we're connecting the contour of the nose to where the brow head starts so that everything is kind of balanced. You're able to express yourself. That way you don't look too surprised. And also everything kind of molds together to create that perfect lifted brow. Mm -hmm. Also, if you draw your brows way too high, your nose can look extra long. So you want to make sure that you're connecting the contour to the beginning of your brow so your face looks harmonious and fierce and snatched. So next is the fashion part of the brow, and this is a little bit more complicated, so we're going to break it down to you. We're going to talk about what products to use, where to put it, when to layer, and how to use all the products in the right order with powder, with cream, with everything. Um, all in his hand. All right guys, now that the brow is glued down and set, we're gonna learn how to create a new brow. So first, I'm applying the base layer of foundation where the natural brow is already covered. Using the lightest shade of concealer, apply a base layer of highlight on the high points, then lightly powder. Next, you'll apply a cream, liquid, or pencil product to create a base. First, I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate with an angled brush. Next, I'll use a contour shade brought down the bridge of the nose to create the brow base and blend it out. After your base brow, you'll use a powder product such as an eyeshadow to set over the base in a slightly deeper shade. Here I'm using an Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Taupe. To create the detailed hair-like strokes and enhance the definition of the brow, I'm using the Benefit Roller Liner in Brown. Lastly, I'll use the lightest concealer with a flat brush to sharpen and define the highlight under the finished brow. Blending in a downward and extending motion, next you'll use the eyeshadow of your choice to blend it out and you're ready to create your eye look. Now, if you're a queen who loves color, colorful brows can be achieved with the same techniques we just learned. For the brow base, you'll apply a bright cream or pencil product, and you can even use liquid lipstick. Next, apply a powder eyeshadow to add dimension and set the cream base. Finally, using a corresponding color, you'll define the brow with hair-like strokes in a deeper cream or liquid. All right, and those are the steps you'll take to get your fashion-forward drag brow ready for the runway. Thank you, TW, for that artistry. Now you guys have a better idea of what goes where as far as layering, and now he's gonna apply what he just did on his hand and on my face. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight with the Krylon TV paint stick in a lighter color and use this brush, yeah? So this is uh, one or two shades lighter than your complexion, probably what you use under your eye. I like to use a very, very bright color for after we've done the artistry, but for now, we're just gonna brighten up this area and kind of neutralize a little bit of that natural brow. And we're not gonna mess around, we're just gonna go in. Oh, so it's okay even if you didn't fully cover it for mm -hmm. the coverage purpose, because you're just gonna go ahead and add exactly. more Exactly, because by the time we layer on all of our eyeshadow, our beat, our powders, our glam, it's all gonna blend harmoniously together. It's just kind of giving you a new brow bone. Mm. And we're still gonna carve it out later. Exactly. With the, the brightest. Lightest, the lightest color. Exactly. So this is not the lightest color yet. It's just kind of like mm -hmm. the base mm -hmm. highlight. Yeah, because if you were to do the brightest, aka the third shade we're gonna use, all over as I'm doing now, it's gonna look really bright. Mm -hmm. So I like to start with this so that I can get kind of a base. So now that that's blended out, the real part comes in. <clears throat> so now we're gonna start in with our cream concealer. Mm -hmm. for your brow base. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go in with our Studio Finish Compact Concealer Kit. Compact. And the Deep Kit. I see. <laughs> and we're gonna use our MAC 263 Angle Brush to get that nice precise shape. I'm gonna use the shade NC50 as a kind of a deep base, but not too dark because we're going to, again, layer. And you're gonna powder all of this. This is gonna kind of serve as like our base. Exactly, so this all is happening while this base is still wet. So again, starting like what we mentioned earlier, we're gonna use Patrick's brow as a base here and then angle ever so dramatically up. Whoa, she mad, she a hoe. It's a sperm. And we're done, ladies and gentlemen. No! <laughs> so another cool trick, depending on your face shape, this is not a general tip for everyone, but a flat angle brush, mm -hmm. the width of it is a good size for how mm. big your brow should be. 
So a lot of the times, I'll turn it on her side and just pull it upward. Ooh. And then I'm just pulling the color upward till I get the desired width of my brow. And none of this has to be perfect because we are going to perfect it in our powder phase. After you bake it. Mm -hmm. See, I've never done this. See, I normally would just like conceal the whole thing and then just draw with like a liquid. So now I know like to layer because I think this, these steps give it like that dimension. Exactly. And that's why I always use generally three to four products just to color in the brow to give it that beautiful dimension so that it looks like it could be real hair. Maybe it's a man, maybe it's Maybelline. Y'all see how I'm paying attention because he's done my dry brows like this, but I've never actually paid attention. So I really want to try doing this technique. Now, as we mentioned before, this part is one of my least favorite parts of the drag brow. It looks blocky. It doesn't look realistic. So a lot of the time what I'll do is slowly start to feather this inward using the flat end of my angle brush. Here's where we're gonna meet it with concealer, a deeper concealer shade, similar to the one we're using, but lighter. So now I'm using the lightest shade mixed with this one. I just kind of mix and match, but something that's a little bit deeper so that I can contour her nose. Oh. And we're going to bring this and kind of start shaping out where your brow contour is gonna be. We all know Patrick loves a strong contour. Oh, she picked the darker shade. So we're gonna go in, <laughs> and we're just gonna start blending her together. So that's a really good illustration to kind of notice. It looks insane, but it's gonna look gorgeous. I love it. You see what I mean, guys? Like I said earlier, when you use like the head of your brow, your natural brow, as your drag brow as well, and go up like we did earlier, your nose won't look so long. Because if you started your drag brow like up here and did that, your nose would start up here too. And you don't want your nose to look so, so large and long. So then we're just gonna take the tip of our beauty blender and just start to marry those together. We hope it's a strong marriage. We hope they stay together. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're Lisa Eldridge right now on YouTube. Oh, that's a compliment, honey. <laughs> a legend and then we just love that simple blend so that it looks natural mm -hmm. so now i'm just <clears> going <throat> to go in just slightly perfect the shape again don't spend too much time on this step because we're going to do a little bit more perfecting after but just enough that we have a great base to make our lives easier and then again i'm stopping right about where patrick's brow hairs started before we get rid of them. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and bake all of this cream because it is cream, it needs to be set. I always use the palm of my hand before I powder just so that there's not too much product on the powder puff and then it's distributed evenly. And then we're gonna go in and just set all of what we just did. So all we did was just do the brow shape. We don't really oh. need to contour because we already laid down that highlight shade underneath. Exactly. Oh. And then we're gonna go back in with a lot of powders. Cause it there. looks like the highlight's already there. Right, cause that was that base highlight mm. that we did first. So the lighter highlight shade, but not the lightest. Ah, I see. I've also seen Kimchi do this, where she does that highlight and the brow with the cream and powder after, and also Miss Fame. Yeah. So cool. Great examples. Now I know. Now we know. Drag Brows 101. Tea spilled on Brows 101. So next we're gonna take the Morphe 35 OM palette. This is the matte orange palette. Use the discount code P-Star and... <laughs> so great fact of this is, though this is beautiful and a great base, very light. So obviously Patrick's got darker hair. We're gonna put him in a dark wig. So I'm gonna go in with a deeper brown shade to kind of create dimension over what we just did. I'm starting from the outside in mm -hmm. and just lightly defining the base that we've already created. You're kind of like starting from the bottom and fading up. Right, because that's a generally, if you even if you look at natural brows, they're darker at the base and lighter as they fade up. So I'm just defining this and pulling this brush upward, back and forth, just to blend. And the cream that we did earlier is kind of peeking through. Exactly. Oh. So that's what we want. We want that dimension to kind of continue to build. So as I get higher on the brow, I'm using a lighter touch and the lighter application so that it doesn't look too blocky all over. The key is always dimension. 
These look tattooed on, bitch. Microblading where? And obviously towards the tail, you want a little bit more definition. So I'll go a little bit heavier on this guy. Same color right here. And stamp her on that tail. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but obviously the brow is a little bit softer. It's not, it's kind of diffused. It's not super strong. That's totally fine and perfect because we're gonna go in and define her next. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and add definition. I'm gonna call this the Valentina step. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Valentina. Valentina. We're gonna go ahead and draw hairs because you know, if you guys look at her on RuPaul's Drag Race, she has those like, Girl, she's just tallying all the bitches that she's she's eliminating, okay? Like on her brows. But we're gonna go ahead and, or TW is gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get that realistic look. Yeah, Benefit just came out with this roller liner which has one of the most beautiful liquid liner tips. Mm -hmm. Very fine. And it's waterproof. It is it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, so this is a great product to sketch out those brow hairs. So I like to start in the inner corner of the head and I start at the bottom. Because again, that's a good rule of thumb to memorize is that you can always go stronger on the bottom than you can at the top. So again, just starting at the base, working your way outward. Take a look at your brows, take a look at natural brows and the way they grow because you are starting from scratch. You know, just make sure you're following the dimension of the way that the brow, the grain of the brow grows and then pull that tail out. So this is a dark brown liner to kind of create that deep tone of Patrick's natural hair color. However, we don't want it to look black. So I'm going to stop about here and finish off the detail of the brow with a little more eyeshadow. So going right back into that Morphe palette, I'm gonna grab some more of that eyeshadow and just kind of fill the gaps and blend everything together. So again, folks, it may look complicated, but it's just a lot of layering so that you have the best result. You can't even see my real brown on Mo. That's what we want. Also, this part depends on your drag. So this artistry, if you guys want that tally mark look, Valentina look, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Obviously, it's for stage. We are here on camera. So obviously, anything up close on camera would look different on stage. That's what we like to call painting for the back row, bitch. Okay. All right, so next, if you guys want an extra, extra, extra defined brow. We're gonna go ahead and take Studio Finish Concealer by MAC in the color W10. This is the lightest color, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna take it on an angle brush and CW is gonna go ahead and cut and clean this up. Absolutely. Even if you don't spend quite as much time detailing as I have done on Patrick's brow, this part is an essential step for creating the perfect snatched brow. Mm because it allows you to kind of clean up any mistakes that you may have made. Obviously, I like the brow shape that we've done, but let's say I'd made any mistakes, you can go in and kind of carve out underneath it to kind of perfect the brow shape the way you needed to if you're not happy with the way it's drawn. And then I'm just gonna pull that down. See, if you'll notice, I'm not gonna go all the way mm. to the inside corner. For because that's where we're gonna contour. contour. Okay. Exactly. You got this, girl. If y'all don't know, who Ruby was. Mm -hmm. She was an old friend of mine from Orlando. Okay, bitch, shut the fuck up. Who may have been a title holder. She was Orlando's premier Jiggly Caliente impersonator. Okay. So as you can see, all of that natural brow, what was remaining, we're just erasing right from now. From earlier, you know. You can't see it. I'm dead, bitch. Now you guys may be saying to yourself, this highlight is insane. And yes, it is. But, in the place of eyeshadow and the cream and all the things we're gonna do on top of this when you're going to do full drag, this will soften up. So just for today's sake, so it doesn't look so crazy, we're gonna use a little bit of Patrick's base color and the foundation and the Cryolan TV paint stick. And we're going to blend the between this concealer and his eye. Mm. So we see what the eyeshadow would look like. So I'm just taking my beauty blender kind of mirroring those together so you can guys can get an idea of what the blend would look like. Now you may not want to use a beauty blender to this close. I'm used to doing it, so I'm not scared of it, but smaller brushes around this area are always recommended. <laughs> I know beauty blender does make small little baby ones that are probably amazing for this step. This is probably how RuPaul does his brows, right? RuPaul hasn't done his brows since I 1984. I mean, AKA Raven. <laughs> this is probably how Raven does it, yeah? Yeah. I don't recall her having a tutorial. Now, if you watch, watching, girl, <laughs> Dra through. Drag 101. With Raven. 
So really quick, this is one thing that I do want to call out. Um, a lot of drag queens will highlight above the brow. I'm gonna show you how to do that properly because it can look really crazy if done wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm using that, that in-between highlight shade and just lightly going over. So you wouldn't really recommend taking this color unless that's your look? Absolutely not. <laughs> no ma'am, no Pam, no cauliflower, no turkey. She don't like that look. Some do. Well, and it, like I said, a lot of queens do it, and there's a way to do it well. <laughs> Naomi Smalls does it great. She does a great job. With with the white? Yeah. Oh. Oh, so I see what you're doing. But I'm using a soft shade, and then I'm just going to marry... This one is Dulce de Leche by Jouer. And then we're just going to blend that out. It looks literally so close to my own skin tone. Which, which is, we which don't is, have, which uh, is good. We don't have product up on my forehead. The most important step of this is blend that shit out. I'm so mesmerized, girl. I'm so shook. I never really, I can never really get it like this. But now, I want to practice. OMG, look at that. Uh, TW okay. was just saying, if you're a beginner, don't use a pencil because sometimes the pencil wax is too hard or too stiff. <laughs> I mean, we love a hard and stiff uh, pencil, but... It might dig into the brow foundation, like the glue and stuff, and it might poke through, depending on how much pressure you have. Absolutely. But next, he's doing the nose contour, so you see the nose is like coming down, exactly. and he's gonna take some colors in the Studio Finish palette, the dark palette, which is a great palette. I have all of them for my kit. This is so amazing. It's great because you can kind of counterbalance if it's too dark, if it's light enough, you're mixing with your foundation. This is just a great step for what we spoke about earlier, kind of bringing everything together and making it look as natural as drag can look. This also will play into your eyeshadow a little bit, so sometimes I'll take a little bit of my cream. We're not gonna get into eyeshadow, but just to give you guys a little bit idea of a placement. I'm gonna bring this oh, in. Oh, cute. Come on, artistry. Gorgeous. So you're just kind of pushing it into the head of the brow. Exactly. And that way you can bring your nose really pinched in and make her snatch. Ooh, cute. It's gorgeous. So now you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this cream highlight under the brow with a little bit of our classic air spun powder. And I'm using a flat brush just to get right underneath that highlight. Is that a Morphe brush so I can plug my code? This is not. Oh, bitch, oh well. So again, using precision, because I don't want to get too much on the eyebrow itself, I'm just going in and setting that. Bake your under eyes, bake your under brow, mm. bake it all. This brow ain't going nowhere, honey. No, ma'am. This is Florida humidity proof. And it looks so good. It don't look oatmeal-y. Mm-hmm. So again, if you get a little bit on the brow, it's fine. This is a translucent powder. I'd rather it reset. And then I can always go in and just touch it up if I need to. You guys see I could still have expression in my face because the head matches um, my natural brow. My drag brow moves with my natural muscles. Face muscles. Whoa, 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 what's happening here, bitch? You shaved my brow off. Oh my gosh. Look at the comparisons, you guys. He literally carved, concealed, and you know, going back to explaining it, there is function within the brow. It will not come off. And there is fashion with the arch, with the highlight, the contour, and everything, and the layering. I didn't know how many layers you had to do, and yeah. he finally broke it down here on my series Drag 101 here on YouTube. We I took am, you out of school today, honey. I'm so glad I got to do this because I have struggled with brows for the longest, and I'm, I'm not the best at it, but I, now I really want to practice. And thank you so much for teaching me. Oh Got kids, absolutely. yes, like how to slay this brow. There are so many layers. There is dimension. There is highlight. There is definition. You really can't, see, guys. You really can't see my damn brow under this. I am. Oh my gosh. I would never do that, but <laughs> it's, it's not really I good. trust it. I know it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Girl, Again, please. the Florida proof brow. <laughs> 
tea spilled on brows 101 bitch oh my god this is so sickening so snatch thank you so much for coming on my, oh my channel god, this is so sickening if you guys want to see him paint me comment Ooh. down below yeah. he will paint me poison style and maybe in red hair to match maybe uh, but comment down below follow him on social media at tw abney uh like this video give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in my next video Bye.